My name is Kyler Groner. And I'm Mary Haas. And we are prevention coordinators at Medfield Outreach. Our job focuses on helping Medfield youth to stay healthy. Self-care is an important part of staying well. It's not just about treating yourself to a spa day or indulging in your favorite comfort food. Self-care is about taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional health every day. Self-care starts with the basics, brushing your teeth, getting enough sleep, eating a balanced diet, and moving your body regularly. These simple habits can have a big impact on your overall well-being. Self-care also means taking the time you need to take care of your mental and emotional health. This looks different for everyone. It's important to try a variety of things to find out what works best for you. A few ways people practice self-care are by taking time to read a book, having a conversation with a good friend, taking a walk outside, or asking an adult for help when needed. It's important to remember that self-care isn't selfish. Taking care of yourself is a vital part of being able to show up for others and contribute to your community. So make self-care a priority and take small steps every day to invest in your health and happiness. Now, let's hear from members of our community to learn how they practice self-care. Hi, my name is Marie Madeira. For self-care, I just do simple things such as engage with friends um, at school or at home, I invite them over. Another thing I do is just like to hang out in my room and be alone, laying in bed with a book or just playing on games. I can even play with friends on games, stuff like that. Those things just really help me improve my mental state. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Martha. For self, I self-care by doing my hobbies like photography, cosplay, art, reading, writing, and editing. Um, I like to cosplay a lot, actually. Um, uh, photography is one of my hobbies as well. I like photographing nature more than people. It helps me kind of calm down. Uh, I like to calm down by um, drinking water while like reading or something. And I sometimes write comics and draw when I want to also like kind of decompress about my day. Hi, my name is Erica Cody. I'm the teen librarian at Medfield Public Library. And how I practice self-care is reading, obviously, getting some new tattoos, getting my hair done with crazy colors every three months, cuddling my cats, and of course, taking naps, which are my favorite. Hi, I'm Officer Shelly Manganello with the Medfield Police Department. I am the school resource officer here in Medfield. And one way that I like to practice self-care is taking long walks around my neighborhood. Now that you've heard a little bit about what others do to practice self-care, it's your turn. Take a moment to think about the things you do every day. In what way do you already practice self-care? Is there anything new you'd like to try? It doesn't matter how you do self-care, as long as you're taking care of yourself. <laughs>